sham anakupatia jembe ukalime shamba ilo jembe utaliba nalo siku zote so it is you to sit down think mimi nina shida unajijua kwamba mimi nina shida mimi nina biashara sijui nitatoka wapi this is an opportunity it is an opportunity and you should be very lucky that you are part of this opportunity but how 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 are you going to benefit from this then because akili yako wewe you don't think you don't sit down and think how you are going to to, to benefit from this unakaa unaanza kusema ah wale hiyo pesa unaanza kutoa maneno ambazo don't make sense this is free advice i'm telling you my sisters my brothers a platform this platform this is a business center wait wait instead of fugua life yako na kupiga mshene na kupiga fujo go to the market buy that bell of mtumba if you don't have money ama fanya naniyo play a game waambie watu mimi nafanya hii people will come support me because i want to start this business what what people what maybe people will support you and that platform of yours sell that product that you would have gone and buy from wherever utaenda kachukua bell ya mtumba start selling that bell of mtumba in your life start making a life people start from the ground you see acha napatia story moja ambao maybe wajua huwa ukiona watu hapa tiktok sengine mna judge maybe these are coming from rich family they were born rich acha tu niwapatie mfano mzuri ambao huwa nyinyi mwenyewe mnaona king rosa akiwaambia king rosa comes from a humble background unaona hao watu wote wanatukana tukana king rosa wanatukana wanatukana huko kwa social media most of them are in his inbox begging begging why does this person hata siku moja hajawahi kuanika mtu hata mmoja hata siku moja hajawahi kuanika mtu lakini hao hao wanakaa huko akisema oh sijui nini yule yuko hivi most of them are in his inbox begging but the humbleness of the guy does not even talk apart from ile siku tu alimkasirisha sana pale akaongea Guys this is others to an extent wanaenda huko kwa madawa because he think that huyu mtu atakuja kufaidisha watu hapa watu watafaidi wanaenda huko kufanya mambo yao ya ajabu ajabu but god and your prayers guys thank you so much thank you so much and continue praying kama nilivyoambia prayers will take you usisahau kuomba Mungu na kuombea watu wazuri Mungu So hii kitu ambayo nimezungumza kuna hizo foundation kuna mambo mingi mazuri yanakuja nyinyi kama wana TikTok nyinyi kama my friends try now sit down see how you will propose you bring a proposal ama you will table something kwa foundation muonekane kwamba this is something that sisi tuwaomba kama watu fulani tufanyiwe ili tuweze kujiendeleza because hii tabia ya michango michango ilikuwa inaleta chuki kila mtu anataka personal you cannot help kila mtu baba even if you are you cannot saidia kila mtu personal but mtu ambaye atakupatia jembe ukalime shambani utaliba maisha yako yote huko shambani ukitumia hiyo akili kuliko kupewa ukipoa leo utapoa kesho itaisha na mtu atachoka kukupatia kila siku kama msemo anasema nini sijui don't give sijui somebody fish teach him how to, to fish But all this depends 
on how you are going to behave how wewe mwenyewe utasema mimi kitu lioleta tiktok ni hii unajua mwenyewe kwenye siri yako kuna wengine wamekuja kuudhi watu hawaendi la kuudhi watu tuone maudhi yako atakupeleka wapi umekuja you want to learn something learn 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 from people here we have good examples we have very good examples here ni mapatia mfano mmoja huo wa digida digida also comes from a humble background but ni bidi kama mwanamke na ni kudibidi yake ndiyo amefanya amejifungulia biashara yake yeye kama mwanamke ameshinda paka wanaume wengine mtu mwenye akili ni yule mtu ana, ana macho you have eyes that see the good not the bad yes everything is possible if you believe and if you had you, you had ukuwe na hard work ukuwe na bidii na i'm telling you leo mtanikumbuka nimezungumza huyu mwanamke huyu mnamuona huyu digida leo huyu in the next five years in the next five years mungu ampatie umri but atakuwa mtu mwingine ni mfano na wapatia mtakumbuka maneno yangu niliyazungumza na ile pesa anakwenda nayo na ile kuwa kimbele mbele umbele mbele wa yeye ni kimbele mbele kimbele mbele chake lakini cha manufaa sio kimbele mbele cha umbea na kukusanisha watu ama kimbele mbele cha ku, cha fitina umbele mbele wake ni wa maendeleo sio mbele kuwa kimbele mbele lakini wa maendeleo sio kimbele mbele wa fitina kitu kingine anawaambia mtu mwingine anawaambia tena na hapa mfano mwingine mfano mwingine anapatia huyu Rumesa huyu Rumesa naongea mume mwana ameanza kufanya nini ameanza kufanya biashara amekaa amefikiria ameanza kufanya nini ameanza kufanya biashara Mungu pia amjalie yeye pia akuwe mtu mwingine na wengine pia nyinyi mwaweza kwa sababu ukiangalia so many people in my inbox watu wengi wana shida so many people so many people have problems but how 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 are you gonna tackle these problems learn listen and implement discipline self discipline don't be driven by hate pray and be a straightforward person wallahi wa billahi i'm telling you I'm telling you wallahi wa billahi I'm telling you shikilia hizo vitu wewe utaona Mungu you will be amongst wale watu ambao hizo shida ndogo ndogo hizo siju nini zitakuondokea huo wakati mgumu unapitia God is watching and God is the one who is giving us all these things Mungu ndo anatupatia raha na Mungu ndo pia huyo huyo anatupatia karaha. Na wakati unapopoa karaha, it doesn't mean God hates you. There's something maybe God wants you to do. So that he brings the best in you. 
That is where most of us fail. We have eyes, but we don't see. We have eyes, but we don't see. We have eyes, we don't. We have ears, but we don't listen. Just try, me akwabia. Try one month. Emu lewe uyu uyu punish ameongea mambo ya prayer, ameongea mambo ya self discipline, ameongea mambo ya mimi. Emu just try one month and then evaluate yourself. Angalia ni me maisha angu kidogo yambi badilika. Ama nini? Utaona ukiwa hivo. Eza, akuna mtu kuna situation imewai kukupata. Maybe ukukua na shida flani ime kukwaza. Ujui yo shida itakutoka. Ita, uta, uta overcome vipi. Then you find yourself. Sikio mekuja kwa panisha hapo gafla gafla. Maro mepandishwa juu maro mepua simba. Now you, now you had a problem. You never knew how that problem you, you are going to solve it. Lakini self discipline. You are praying. You are innocent. Kuna watu miambili hapo, lakini ukapanda wewe ukapata. Na kweli ulikuwa unashida. Kwa sababu ya nini? Roo yako. Roo yako na tabia yako. God sees. Na umbe, kimbele mbele, fanya kimbele mbele, kuwa kimbele mbele wa nini? Kuwa kimbele mbele wa kutaka maendeleo. Usikuwe kimbele mbele wa kutaka bala. Be that person umesikia kwa mba, kuna fujo siju kuna watu wanapijana. Ni kama mbeo umesikia baruti berepuka huko, hata utakusikia. Be that person. Positive. Be that person umesikia watu wanateta. Unaweka amani kati yao. Those are the people God love and those are the people God blesses. paka watu mahali wamefika wengine paka watu wengine pale mahali maisha yao sasa yamefika ni kwa sababu ya discipline this self discipline kuna tabia unaweza ulikuwa nayo ukaona ah hii tabia haitalifikisha mahali hii tabia people change learn to change a, a human being Mwanadamu ambaye mwanadamu ambaye anajielewa ni yule ambaye ana change ana change una change change how you live change how you are for better for yourself for better I'm not a motivational speaker I'm talking this from experience from experience people change nimepata mfano mzuri sana hapa nikawaambia digida huyo mimi you know digida more than how many years 20 years 20 years yo digida mimi namjua na mali yako sahi na kuambia next 5 years muangalieni huyo next 5 years ni mwanamke ambaye anabidi na ni mwanamke ambaye amejitolea rafikira nani atasimama Mombasa at women rep wewe you come from nowhere you have those guts to stand as a women rep you must be you must be a genius you must have that courage mtu anaona siasa paka ni kuwe na pesa ni kuwe tajiri ndo anaweza kusimama but she alisimama anapenda maendeleo na pia bidii yote ni bidii usingoje kupewa jishuhulishe umeona mahali kuna opportunity Jipe, jipeleke kwa hiyo opportunity jiweke kimbele mbele wa maendeleo not kimbele mbele wa fitina wewe kimbele mbele uchukue maneno ya huku peleke huku uchukue maneno asubuhi huku yalete huku ya jioni wapeleke huku watu wakorofiane faida yako nini wapata nini hapa ama umeona watu wanataka kuanza project yao unaanza kusema warongo wale wale waezi unaanza kutia nuksi mbele kwa mambo ya watu Na au unaona si juu mnawaitana mwingine mnakaa kama unaitana wewe marafiki marafiki wewe pata shida ndio utajua ni marafiki zako ama ni watu mlikuwa mnakaa hapo mki mki mkipiga domo tu. Waambie mtu mjaribu hapo sana ni rafiki yako ama ni boss wako ama mnamuita 
leta shida yako i'm telling you people of tiktok are very uh, very lucky that there's this person called king loso inside here but watu wanajaribu kumfukuza huyu mtu kwa kila aina njia hao wachawi mtaita wachawi Kuna mtu ambaye ana shida na pesa? Niwaulize hapa. Ama kuna mtu ambaye ametosheka na pesa? So yule anayetoa yake aje awapatie nyinyi ni mjinga. Ama ana kazi nayo. Anawapenda. Eh? Ama ana familia, ana marafiki, ana ambao anaweza kupatia hiyo pesa. Ameona nyinyi tu, nyinyi nani kwake? The only thing is to pray some kind of person kama huyu mtu kama huyu Mungu ampe umri mrefu Mungu amwongeze imani awasaidie These things that the person is doing these things we don't see here in African TikTok these are things that we see in the UAE uko no one dares do that Sawa digira tumesikia hiyo. Tutazungumza. Umesikia? So maombi na mapenzi kwa watu ambao wana wako tayari kuwasaidia ama kuku, mtu yote yule ambaye yuko tayari kukusaidia wewe with no intention of anything on return mheshimu sana huyo mtu hiyo ni advice nampatia mheshimu sana mtu aina hiyo mheshimu muombe Mungu ampe maisha marefu na hii kitu nimewacha leo nayo you girls you single parents you widows you young 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 generation sit down sit down hizo group zenu mnakaa think what can we do as a group kujiendeleza kuna foundation zaja i'm sure that if you take a very better proposal to, kwa, kwa, madam, kwa, kwa the president madam president she's kind hearted she will consider if something is is workable she will consider and support so wakati ni sasa kujipanga wakati ni sasa you can register a self help group apart from uh, this foundation kuna paka serikali pia kuna hizi kama you are in Mombasa county kuna kitu inaitwa ngaf that is almost uh, i think 100 million ambayo inapewa kwa inapatiwa kwa cho nani huyo kwa women rep ambayo inafaa iende kwa vikundi vya kila mama ama vikundi these self help groups muko na proposal yenu you can be funded without returning money hiyo ni pesa yenu once you register a self help group muko watu 10 ama watu 5 umeregister hiyo kuna hizo vitu kuna hizo funds mnapewa na ukipewa hiyo ngaf hiyo hiyo fund ni kitu ambacho ulipi so kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mnaweza kujibadilisha maisha yenu once you are you, you have you are positive you remove your akili ya kuwa negative mnaweza kujisaidia sherehe tunafurahia na pia maisha nyumbani yanaendelea tunacheka tunafurahi lakini nyumbani pia kuko sawa ya nasikia hiyo digida so i think mume pata mawili matatu ambayo ya 
atawasaidia kwenye safari hii ya maisha ambayo tunaona yes new hope of 17 people already yes register let it be a self help group register it you are register self help group it's easy it is easy uh, funds ama a uh, help to reach you as far as someone someone is trusted with some funds ambazo anafaa saidie watu lazima pia yeye angalie kweli these funds zitafikia wale watu ambao no it doesn't you don't have to be of the same place it has to be a group ambayo ambayo muta, mutajua ni vipi mnaweza kuwa pamoja ama mtasaidiana Let's change this to TikTok. Let's change it. Let's use it in a useful way. I think Nigda has some information for those who want to to know about that. I think when she opened her life, maybe atawa 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 patia na saha pia kuhusu jinsi mnaweza vipi kutengeneza vikundi ambavyo itakuwa rahisi msaada kuwafikia na hawa watu ambao mtakuwa mnaunga vikundi nao kaeni watu ambao mnajua mnaaminiana watu ambao muna, muna nia moja watu ambao mna upeo mmoja mna, mna, mna you have the same vision. Mkiwa hivyo then it is very easy nyinyi kusaidika. Sababu I know I have a feeling that so many youth are here most of them unemployed most of them have ambition wengine wajua kitu kingine tutaambia sio lazima usubiri kuandikwa kazi kwa sababu wewe ni una degree ama una diploma kama tunavyojua Kenya yetu kwa sasa kuna upungufu wa kazi hakuna kazi that is a fact hakuna kazi so wewe kama kijana nini utafanya ili uweze kupata pato hilo ni swali ambalo nitawa, nitafunga maneno yangu nikiwaacha nalo kila mtu ajiulize mimi kama kijana saa hii maybe nimemaliza shule nimeenda college ama mimi kama mama single parent sina kazi eh? nini naweza fanya ili inipatie kipato So guys wale ambao haja follow Digida follow Digida I think she has some uh, some knowledge she will share with you Ndio nikamwambia mkiona mtu amefika pale amefika in the next 5 years this is a speedboat I'm telling you hiyo miaka mitano huko anakoelekea atakuwa mtu mwingine So chukueni mfano kama wake tena leo digira ningependa kufungua live yako wapatie your humble background paka pale umefika so that people know that people grow with change people wa, mtu anaweza kuwa hivi na akabadilika na kaja akafika mahali fulani akawa hivi give them give them story We unatoka wapi paka umefika wapi na unaelekea wapi they will learn hata siku moja maybe akijisikia nitamwambia mwenye King Rosa apatie story yake from childhood paka pale mahali amefika paka pale mahali yuko na hapo yuko bado anaenda mbele sio hapo amefika ati ni mwisho bado anasonga 
maybe in, by next year ni mtu mwingine zaidi so when having some such people around learn something learn something that will help you in your life na kitu ingine kwa wale ambao soon tutakuwa tutakuwa tutarudi kama tulivyokuwa kitambo tutakuwa hizo kama hizo group zitakuwa tutaanza kuzitembelea tuzinotify wale ambao watakuwa wamerejesha na groups we notify those groups with the proposal they have we see if we can implement you come up with kitu ambacho itawasaidia there are so many good things coming na wale ambao watatusaidia ku kueneza positiveness na amani would like to join the royal family pia tunaangalia you will join the royal family you become part and parcel of this journey of ensuring that we are changing lives of the less fortunate that is what king rosso wants nothing else and he wants nothing in return it is just that he feels that he has to return to the community where he comes from we have so many countries ambazo akienda kama leo atapokelewa so sisi kwa sababu tuko naye basi tukaeni na heshima na tuonyeshe kwamba tunamhitaji Tumelewana, tukaeni tujue kwamba tunamhitaji wale ambao watakuwa ki advocate we will register members new members into the royal family tuta karibuni maybe tuta tazungumza hiyo kwa kirefu Kwa hiyo nawashukuruni sana aliyepata mawili matatu basi atilie maanani put whatever spoken here put it in your mind make use of that na tuendelee tunakuja tunafurahia lakini tukumbuke kwamba tuna maisha mengine ambayo tunafaa tuyafanyie bidii at the end of the day we are fathers we are mothers we are sisters to someone we are brothers to someone there are people ambao wanatutegemea so ukiwa unalala leo jiulize what can i do as a jobless woman as a jobless man what can i do to change this status that i'm having ask yourself that question and then wake up from there wake up from there i'm telling you in the next few months you'll start seeing change in yourself don't forget to pray god is the giver we just deliver so guys nimefurahi mimi pia nimesikia vizuri I've shared with you these few words that I heard na hopefully I will be so happy to see implementation of whatever I have been talking about here na let's make this platform a peaceful place for us let's say no to negativity all of us Let's say no to negativity. That is one step ya kukufanya wewe ujitambue. Wewe ujitambue kama wewe ni mtu ambaye uko na shida zako mwenyewe ambayo unafaa uzitatue, uko na matatizo yako. Kuna wengine wana stress zao. So tufanye hii mahali ikuwe amani kwa kila mtu. Tukate mambo ya fitina tusiendeze tusiendeze fitina hapa za kujaribu kuchafuana 
huyu mbaya huyu yuko hivi that is cheap politics ambazo baadaye maybe unasema mtu ni mbaya baadaye mtu watu waoni ubaya wake unaibika don't put yourself into that position mtu anaweza kukutukana na hata usimjibu mtu anaweza zungumza maneno ya kijinga uh, unaona kama wengine wale kama yule mwingine juzi hapa acha napatia mfano mmoja amekaa siku kwa live ya mtu huko ati anaongea oh hakuna mtu sijui huyo panisha wale watu waliokwenda airport hakumchukua sijui roso sijui ni <laughs> yani stupid ya yani. Ha, uh, aongee sijui na roso, sijui nini. Yaani polit stupid clubs. Sasa mtu kama huyo hata mimi siwezi mjibu. Wewe mimi mwenyewe mnajionea hapa. Mnajionea. <laughs> hata si wa kuambiwa kitu, mnajionea. You just see by yourself. Sasa hao ndio wale watu ambao wanachafulia watu majina. wanachafulia watu majina kwa sababu ya kutaka kujulikana kupitia majina ya watu wengine that is cheap politics lakini leo naambia tena huyo pia nimemsamee kwa sababu alikuwa ajui hata anaongea nini nilikuwa na hasira lakini pia huyo nimemsamee nimemsamee ajifundishe tu because people watu wanakosea Sengina wajui wanafanya nini. Lakini pia asira mtu anakuwa nimemsamee pia huyo. Ajui hata anasema nini. Hata sina kinyongo naye. Na yeye pia ntamu advise tu ajui kui, ajue kuishi na watu vizuri. Fitina haitakufanya wewe mtu akupende kwa sababu ya fitina. Hapana. Sio wote ni wajinga utaenda kumfitilisha mtu mji, mtu umwambie mtu fulani uko hivi na hivi akusikize basi na yeye pia amchukie. Hiyo ndio kitu nawafundisha mkatae you can be dragged into you can be dragged into a war which you don't know na labda hapo mahali ulikuwa usaidike wewe kama wewe lakini kwa sababu ya ujinga kufata kama kondoo unakosa usaidizi unakosa mambo mazuri kwa sababu ya ujinga say no to that jamaa nawaambia kataeni kataeni kwa sababu wako ambao watasikia sasa hii hapa na kuna ambao wale ni mwaita wachawi wachawi wako wachawi wako wale ambao mtu akujui lakini anatamani ukufe mtu akujui anatamani wewe e, watu wa kuone wewe bavi hakujui anatamani so such people are there kila soko alikosi mwandazimu ile soko lina mwandazimu wengi lakini kama kuna mwandazimu ambaye amesikia maneno yangu na memgusa wacha huo wazimu kuwa mtu mzuri so guys i think nimeongea mengi leo for the first time tumekaa tumezungumza maneno mengine ya busara ni kwa sababu nawapenda na naona hakuna watu wengine ambao nakaa nao tukipiga story ni nyinyi ambao kama kuna kitu ambacho kitawafaidi basi itakuwa mimi si itakuwa roho yangu ni mbaya kama siwezi ku share na nyinyi what i know that will benefit you in the future at the end of the day if you are all happy that is the best thing as you can see this is a house the house of happiness Happiness is our motto. So guys, thank you so much. I hope tutapatana baadaye tujibambe, tusikize ngoma kidogo baadaye kama kawaida. Haya ndio yazungumza kwa wale ambao yamewagusa basi implement that guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much for being around. Thank you so much for listening to me. I love you all. I love you so much.